I want to ask you about the logistics company. Uh, just a word before that, uh, markets have opened in the green and these are pre-opening rates. They are just bids. Uh, they are not uh, really traded rates. But uh, uh, the surprise is that SGX Nifty was pointing to a shade of red. These stocks are opening in the green and it is being led by NTPC. But uh, not all of them are uh, PSUs. There is a good mix of uh, private sector companies that are doing well at this point in time. And JSW Steel is also recovering. Uh, after yesterday's minor fall, uh, Tata Consumer is up. So let's wait and see how things pan out. It's uh, in a bit of a trying to find its sweet mood, the market. But uh, clearly what has changed in our lives is that e-commerce is likely to last in our lives for much longer. Uh, probably going to become an entrenched habit. Uh, the lockdown restrictions are getting wider, deeper, longer. So uh, we have uh, uh, Gati Management joining us. The board has approved fund infusion from the promoters and joining us now is Mr. Shashikiran Shetty, the chairman, All Cargo Logistics, the company that owns uh, Gati. Uh, Mr. Shetty, good morning. Thank you very much for joining us. This uh, fund infusion is not from All Cargo. It is from the promoters of All Cargo, is it? No, no, no. It is All Cargo. All okay. Cargo is a promoter. Okay. Uh, All Cargo currently owns 47%. Okay. Okay. And uh, any reason for uh, w what do you plan to do with the money? How much is it totally? If you include the warrants and the preference <laughs> issues, what is the amount of money coming into Gati? What will it be used for? Yeah, uh, totally uh, it will be about uh, 85 crores mm. and uh, it will be a partly preferential and uh, balance is uh, a warrant. Uh, <clears throat> and uh, the idea is... Uh, that the money is required in the company for developing new uh, distribution centers. Mm. Uh, five distribution centers we are setting up uh, around the country, which mm. are required for the growth in the volume that has already happened in the last uh, one year. Mm. And the future uh, growth in the business uh, is uh, factored mm. while designing these new five hubs. Uh, that is one. A, a second is uh, we want to take the shareholding of the company uh, above 50%. Okay. Uh, that is the second reason. The third reason is we are investing heavily in IT and digital technologies to ensure that the company keeps pace with the emerging uh, trend of e-commerce and also the last mile connectivity where we would like to create uh, uh, a much uh, improved uh, process management internally and uh, uh, you know, facilitate the customer acquisitions using our portal. Mm. Okay. Uh, so these, these are the three main, main reasons. Okay. And lastly, we were, there are a lot of non-core assets in the company mm. uh, which we want to sell. And due to pandemic, uh, some of them are sold, some of them are advanced discussion. But uh, there is a definite need for funding for, uh, till we realize uh, these uh, non-core asset sale. Mm. Uh, and also, uh, by the way, we also repaid uh, quite a lot of... Uh, uh, expensive debt that was there in the company. Mm. And last but not the least, we've also been able to reduce the contingent liabilities uh, that have uh, been accumulated with the Vivatsi Vishwa scheme. Okay. A significant amount of contingent liability is also going to be reduced. So, you know, uh, your answers and, are. And will be reduced. Your answers are throwing up a lot more questions, but uh, just uh, initially you said that you're going to increase the stake of all cargo beyond 50%. In Gati, at some point, you will think of merger. Uh, I think it's too early to say uh, because all cargo and Gati are in two different uh, businesses. Okay. Uh, uh, you know, there are some businesses within all cargo which could be merged, but mm. we have not applied our mind on that right now. Uh, right now, we are focusing on building the volume. Uh, you know, uh, position the company for utilizing the existing opportunities in the express and uh, e-commerce business. Our focus is on that. No corporate restructuring at this stage. Okay, fair enough. Mr. Shetty, good morning. Now I want to come to the business itself. Uh, can you tell us how much pharma is contributing to the total revenues at Gati right now? And you know, I'm not sure if uh, there's already a system in place for let's say vaccine transportation. Oxygen transportation has become sort of a big issue in the last one month. Uh, so, what's the contribution from pharma vis-a-vis -vis the contribution from e-commerce? You know, the pharma is one of the focused uh, uh, industry for us. Uh, hello? Yeah. 
So pharma yes, is yes, we can hear the, you. The, one, yeah, yeah. Pharma is one of the focus industry for the company. Today, the contribution for pharma is uh, not significant. Uh, and uh, in the in the coming months and years, uh, we have a, uh, a very clear focus on uh, uh, achieving more uh, customer wallet share and also adding a new pharma customers in the months and years to come. Okay. Um, as far as the oxygen transportation, we are not involved. Mm. Uh, what we did is we brought uh, uh, oxygen concentrators from Singapore uh, for Maharashtra government mm. uh, in one of our TSR initiatives uh, very early on. Okay. Uh, but otherwise, we are not doing much on much oxygen transportation, nor we have an intention because it's a very different type of transportation. Mm. Uh, unless they are required on an express model, we can obviously bring uh, and take oxygen cylinders from any part of the country because we can mm. operate at 20,000 feet course across the country. Right? Mm. So on express basis, we can always do it. Uh, on a smaller parcel, uh, we don't do full truck load. Mm. In Gatli. Okay. Okay. Anyway, thank you very much for that CSR uh, activity as well of uh, uh, donating uh, oxygen concentrators. Uh, Mr. Shetty, I wanted to know, uh, you know, how do you see business expansion? Since e-commerce is going to be, you know, um, here to stay, any, uh, if you can give us a guidance in terms of volumes or revenues, any which way, for Gatti. Uh, you know, it's a, it's a big ocean uh, and expanding all the time. Yes. And uh, when we were uh, doing the uh, express business, uh, the company was not uh, getting much benefit out of the, ex uh, the uh, e-commerce transportation. Mm. So what we have done post-acquisition is... Uh, uh, restructuring the entire e-commerce vertical within the company mm. and uh, we have a model ready now mm. and uh, we are uh, going to go aggressively on that. Uh, one of the policies we follow in the company is uh, not to uh, do business uh, incurring too much of loss. We are about, of course open for investments but uh, you know we don't have VC funding in the company as you know we're a public company we need to you know earn profit, declare dividend for shareholders. So uh, we will do the e-commerce in a very measured way. Mm. Uh, I can't give you a guidance right now, but mm. this is definitely one of the focus area. We cannot be abstaining from such a large market, mm. uh, particularly because we have relationship with all the large uh, mm. e-commerce players because we provide them uh, logistic arc services in Bangalore, Delhi, Hyderabad and all these places. We built, as you know, 5 million square feet of warehouse and they're all on lease to black mm. to uh, okay. the Amazons of the world. Okay. Right. So no, we have a relationship, we're going to leverage that for sure. Okay. okay, but for this quarter, you think business will be hurt because many states are with only essentials in terms of even e-commerce? Yeah, uh, you know, last, uh, last month, uh, not last month, sorry, March, we did uh, a top line of uh, 115 crore. For Gati, you mean? Uh, for Gati on loan, yeah. Mm. For the month, for okay, the month. Okay, got it. And uh, for in April, uh, normally it is relatively slower month. Mm. Uh, we did close to about 95 crore uh, uh, revenue. Okay. And this month, I think, will be anywhere around 70, 75 crore. Uh, but I think the main, uh, you know, I think this month we are already, uh, sorry, April was 95. Mm. May will be around 75. Okay. And uh, I think uh, the business will start reviving from June onwards. There is no, as you know, that the lockdown is not everywhere. Yeah. Uh, the business is continuing. Of course, there is an impact on the uh, on the movement. It, but, it is uh, in most of the big cities, uh, and now increasingly going even rural. I mean, the uh, the economically busy cities uh, and states like Karnataka, Tamil Nadu, uh, uh, Kerala, even West Bengal are all actually increasing their uh, uh, restrictions. Uh, no, but Mr. Shetty, I think what Surabhi was asking you about pharma was actually whether you will get into vaccine and therefore cold chain any such investments. No, Lata, we are not focusing on vaccine at the moment uh, because that needs a cold chain uh, infrastructure. It does have uh, a small business in cold chain mm. but it's too, too early for us the timing wise it is uh, it is not right for us okay we may you know we may look at it in the future but right now our focus is to get the express and 3pl e-commerce business up and running well okay. and you know focus on those opportunities okay you know you have um, uh, you had posted an excellent ebit even if your revenue went down in the express distribution in q3 you will be able to continue with that improvement in margins 
Yes, absolutely. That's uh, that's where we are. You know, we brought our uh, uh, sales and administration costs uh, well below ten percent um, uh, combined. Sorry, uh, okay. we have a uh, almost twelve uh, percent uh, margin. Uh, GP margin, okay. so that will continue. That will continue because a lot of efficiencies have been brought in, uh, okay. and uh, you know, so that's really, the margin is sustainable for sure. Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. We we'll leave it at that because we are heading into market opening. Thank you very much, Shashikiran Shetty, for joining us with the details of your investments in Gati. Okay. Markets open slightly on the.